live with you on Facebook on Sunday night, Sunday the 23rd of September. In fact, maybe it's, no, that's the, that's the time, so it'll be a little bit further on than that. Is it the 20, no, I can tell you, the 25th, 25th of September. And I'm doing a live video here on Facebook just to catch up with a lot of you. So if you're able to pick this up and you're watching me, then what I think you should do is come on to the Facebook page. I've got it beside me here, and then I can respond to you. So uh, tell everybody to come and join us here, Scotty McClue, live on the video. Gary Stevenson's watching. Hello, Gary. A very, very good evening to you. I think it's still good evening. Yes, what is the time? Let me just check here. It's 23.13. So there we are. Alex Robertson. Alex, you like the video. That's excellent. This is first class because this is something that we might make a regular thing if you guys actually like it. So there we go. You're all watching. That's fantastic. Davy Purvis, Stephen Nunnally, Joe McGowan, John Gattins, Clive Hardesty, and uh, Alex. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Alex. James Cottis is watching. Laurie LD Dev. Alex Robertson, uh, James Cottis. Yes, you're all there. That's fantastic. Legendary show. Thanks very much. It's very, very good of you to come on. And uh, it's something, as I say, we'll maybe make regular because there's so much happening. And the mainstream media doesn't seem to be too interested in doing phone-ins at the moment. One or two stations do, but they're very, very thin on the ground. So it's uh, catching up with technology. Of course, we don't actually need the telephones because I can come on and uh, talk to all of you here live on Facebook. So I'm going to look, uh, if you want to send me some little messages, I'll just uh, refresh this. Uh, just you'll see me looking up and flickering about. It's like the early days of television before we had uh, before we had autocue, and um, that's tremendous stuff. There it goes. Lawrence is sending out a copy of the video to everybody. I'm delighted about that. That's very very good of you. And uh, Scotty McClure going live to the nation, of course. So I'll just click a little like on that. Uh, Matthew Ritchie likes the video. He's watching as well, of course. Hi Matthew. Lovely to see you. Uh, you're asking me about what's happening with Go Radio. I don't know what's happening with Go Radio at the moment, so I won't comment on that. I haven't heard uh, any more. Uh, Robbie Bain is telling 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClure is with you live on Facebook. It's uh, probably about our time. I wasn't sure if we'd actually have any of you here at all, but you seem to be, and that's marvellous. So uh, where are the fingerless gloves, Robbie? I haven't got the mitts on tonight. Um, because I thought I might have to be quite slick with the old fingers. Robert G.J. McGuire, Matthew Cochran there joining us. This is fantastic. Stephen Nunnally, nice to see you, buddy. Nice to hear from you, Stephen. I hope all's well down in the northwest of England there. So that's fantastic. And, uh, of course, I'm used to doing radio. So I hope you're not getting too much of a shock when you're seeing my, uh, my uh, facog. My giant pus live on Facebook, but uh, that's part of it. So there we are, Michael Campbell. He's uh, enjoying the video as well, so that's rather good. And um, I've got here 32 seconds, so I'll go on and see what's what with that. Can you guys actually hear me live? Give us a few thumbs up and a few smiles if you can actually hear us live right now, because it's telling me there we've been broadcasting for 32 seconds. Wham, says Kenneth Patterson. Wham to you, Kenneth. James McGear, nice to see Scotty aging well. One of the single mums have any mortgages now? Well, we do. We wonder about that as well. Nice to see you back on here, Scotty. Stevie McKenzie. And uh, Carol Gilmer's watching. Hi, Carol. Graham McIntosh, brilliant man. Spent many happy night listening to you. Barry Snedden, dinky-doo, Scotty. Dinky-doo to you, Barry, of course. Uh, Alan Michael Brockett's watching. Marvellous, Alan Michael Brockett. David Steele, hi, Scotty. Used to love listening to you and you, my lord. Uh, let's get this show on the road, Scotty. This is amazing. Uh, loud and proud from Stornoway. From Stornoway. From Stornoway. Mar Marvellous. Ah. Well, uh, Kwashin, I say to you, Kwashin. Uh, Elaine Gelt's thought, yes, excellent. A fatty's not happy being a fatty, says Robbie. 
Of course they're not. Mind you, I'm not exactly looking too slender myself, but I hope you think I've worn reasonably well. And uh, when are you back on air, says Stuart McLennan. Well, we don't know about this. There are some very, very big discussions going on. There are plans afoot. We need somebody with some serious dosh who can spread this across all the social media platforms. But what I'm actually loving about it is that with a click, we can all be together again. And that's obviously going to be a good thing. So I like that. Good to see you, man. Do more live stuff, please. And uh, can you still hear me live? Are you still getting this live? Let's just check if you're getting it live. Yes, you seem to be getting this live. That's excellent there. And uh, we'll share it. Shall we share it with everybody? So I've just clicked share now. Um, I hope I haven't driven you all too much up the wall with all the social media. If you just stick with it, you get the odd person saying, Oh, it's clogging up my inbox, all the responses to you, Scotty. Oh, diddums, diddums, diddums. You know, get yourself checked on, lovey. You know, I mean, for goodness sake, clogging up your inbox. Uh, Jim Fennessy has reacted to the video. We'll hear what he's saying. Get a reaction from Jim there. Excellent. Anybody else that's watching, just let me know. Alan McDonald, Jim Patterson, Donna McGinn, Kelvin Malcolm McGregor. Now, there's a great man. Kelvin Malcolm McGregor, uh, a huge Scotty McClue fan. And, of course, Scotty McClue is a huge fan of his. He's a Kilmarnock supporter, I believe. Unless that's changed, you can tell us, Kevin, if that's actually changed. Keep your hand on your hip, me, says Robbie. Absolutely, Robbie. Keep your hand on your hip, me, at all times. Advice to all the ladies watching. Keep your horn on your kidney. Very, very important. And they had a guy tonight telling me about, uh, oh, yes, yes, you were funny a long time ago. Very good. I never actually said I was funny. I've never, ever tried to be funny. So if anybody finds me funny, then, um, you know, I make no apologies for that. But it's probably not necessarily intentioned. Scott is an absolute legend, says Matthew Ritchie. Thanks for that, Matthew. Uh, Alan McDonald, hi Scotty Brill, to see you. Uh, Felix Lynn, how marvellous. That sounds like a place actually, Felix, but lovely to hear from you. Or uh, Jim Patterson, Wally K. Wally, oh, you beautiful people coming out of the woodwork there. This has been a very smart idea. I just had a wee idea to do it. I thought I'll, I'll give it a try, see what's what, because there's so much happening. I mean, that Labour leadership contest, you know, and um, when I saw the Labour leader contest, I saw that uh, Jeremy Corbyn allegedly is not going to be doing a great deal for Scotland, so he's not going to give Scotland independence or further powers or anything like that. So I thought to myself, well, we're going to need a new, you know, we're going to need a new Labour leadership contest very very soon jeremy if you if you don't sort that out but in actual fact because um you know labor aren't really doing a lot in scotland at the moment they're not too hot in scotland at the moment bless them as you know i'm not really a political animal but i do like to uh, to make the odd comment uh, on politics you know i think that's important listen to you years ago good to have you back great seeing you again jonathan darwin's watching bobby gracie's watching for goodness sake you're brilliant. Best wishes, Alex. And uh, we're on the march with Scotty's army. We're on the march with Scotty's army. That's the stuff. Uh, with technology as it is, you can set up your own radio show online. Uh, so there you are. That's Stuart McLennan telling me. Alan MacDonald, mind you, uh, Kezia Dugdale seems to have shot herself in the foot allegedly, um, not literally, of course, but um, with the old uh, Labour leadership. The only thing is, I felt that um, Labour really, they started to die off. John Smith was the last great Labour leader. He was a wonderful man, John Smith. He was from Adrishig, of course, the same place as my mother. So uh, so that's a good one for him there. But he was an Adrishig man, his father, a great school teacher, Archie Haney, the teacher in Tarbert and Adrishig. But... Um, and uh, John, when John died, that was kind of Labour were a bit up the chute and then they all started the argy bargy and then we got new Labour. And uh, on the 1st of, uh, the 1st of May 1997, I uh, had driven all the way up from Sheffield overnight doing a show on Hallam FM radio there. And I thought to myself, I got into my little croft in Edinburgh, just outside Edinburgh in East Lothian, and I thought, this is the end. This is the end of the Labour Party. That's kind of, the game's up. But, uh, of course, we had Mr Blair, and um, that went well. 
and then um, you know, then we had all the argy bargy and the falling out and what have you. But uh, I think when they let down the people of Scotland and betrayed their roots, because of course, I don't know if everybody knows this. I don't want to be uh, particularly political, but I don't know if everybody knows this. But the SNP grew out of the Labour Party, and you couldn't get uh, you couldn't get a, a card between them. You couldn't get a, a little sliver of cardboard between them for years. Um, and they ended up thoroughly, uh, thoroughly disliking each other. But I think they should get together now and, uh, and, and let Scotland go. Scotland's been duped for 309 years. Let it go. And then the game's up and we'll get on with it. It's nothing to do with, uh, it's purely to do with self-administration and to do with economics. It's nothing to do with politics, nothing to do with separatism, nothing to do with nationalism or any of that sort of setup. It's to do with economics and to do with playing the game fairly. So there we are. So that's all we're talking. That's all I'll say about that, of course, because as I say, I'm not really a political animal. Um, I can move this about a tiny bit, by the way, so anything that's not suiting you, just shout out and we'll sort it. New job in the morning, Scotty. Good to hear your musings again. Best of luck from Michael Campbell. Uh, Stuart McLennan, the family of Smiths. Excellent. Dinky do to Mrs. Mac. Of course, Tony, I can say dinky do to Mrs. Mac. Now, Tony, you're a great radio man, and uh, I saw you one day. I hope you don't mind me saying this, wondering if you maybe should uh, not pursue the radio. Never, ever, ever, ever give up. Look at your old, uh, your old chum Scotty sitting here, uh, still having a go. You know, regardless of what people think, I've never been too bothered with that, because the audience figures have always said otherwise. And um, as for uh, for the setup at Scott FM, uh, I think we were causing too much trouble to the competition, to be quite honest, because you don't get rid of your striker just like that. So, but that's all a long time ago. Um, but I do feel that uh, you know these stations uh, they traded on for huge, huge values. John Smith died in 1994. Alex, you're quite right. Yes, thanks for that. Ian Garty's watching. Hello, Ian Dinky Do. And uh, please pass on my fondest regards to your father. Uh, you'll know what I mean when I say, have they still got the claret Rolls Royces? So there you are. But uh, great to hear you. Davy Lee's watching. If you see me looking down, I'm just reading your names here. Alan MacDonald, we're going to get a Hogmanay shindig this year. Scotty McClure, of course, has traditionally always delivered the Hogmanay bash. Because uh, once Andy Stewart died and the White Heather Club had, uh, had done its stuff, from, I think, uh, how long did the White Heather Club do its stuff? Some huge number of years, was it 1963 or 64 through to the 70s or 80s or something like that? The White Heather Club. And, of course, that was a network television program uh, in the days when ITV took all its programs from all its different contractors. And that was BBC, BBC, the White Heather Club, um, Robert Wilson, the singer, um, Andy Stewart, and uh, oh, that lovely tenor from Dundee, what was his name again? Tremendous. All that will come back to me. Graham Stewart's watching. Graham, lovely, lovely, lovely to see you doing so well on BBC television. I always knew you were a great man. You have a, a wonderful style with you, a great broadcasting voice, and a very, very sharp and clever mind. So my concern was that um, they weren't going to make the best of you, and you're on the road, my boy, so keep going, I say. Maybe you'll uh, you'll interview Scotty McClue one of these days. I've always thought that would be an absolute hoot and let me get my tuppence worth in with all sorts of things. But lovely to see Graham Stewart. If you're watching uh, BBC One Scotland and you'll see Graham Stewart doing politics and presenting news in a marvellous, marvellous broadcaster. So there we are. Uh, great to see you, Scotty. Betty Byers, says Carol Gilmer. Bye bye, dear. You need to get your beauty sleep, I'm telling you. Boy, do you need your beauty sleep. And uh, uh, you're still awesome, says Colin Edwards. James Fitton's watching. Derek Brown, this is going up. There's millions of you on here. This is incredible. Always liked your radio show, Scotty. I like the way it went from funny to serious. And then back again. Not many broadcasters can do that. Well, I say that we should be able to. I mean, I've been blessed. I've been blessed with a memory and I've been blessed with an IQ of 163. So I think we can do all these things. You know, I had a guy on tonight talking about there's more to life, Scotty. The reason you're not on the radio is because you can't talk about single mothers and fatties. 
all your life. Newsflash, you actually can, but if you listen to the programme, we don't do that all the time. That's not something we do. We talk about absolutely everything. We talk about stuff at the highest level. We talk about information, education, entertainment. And if we happen to have a laugh, for goodness sake, the one thing that we can do in this country is have a laugh. I am living proof of that, because you're all having a laugh at me now. That's why I gave up comedy, because everybody's just laughing at me all the time. And it wasn't fair. I was at Glasgow Central Station one night, and I, for no reason, I don't know why it happened, I burst into tears. And the uh, transport policeman came up, he said, I couldn't arrest you. I said, what for, for crying out loud? You know, that's the kind of thing. And, um, and but I, I, I'm an emotional man. I was uh, down at the petrol station the other night, and I just started filling up and that happens so there we are uh ron says fatty should pay double on the bus i still think they should actually you know i was looking at a big fat woman got on the bus the other day and she squeezed she nearly squeezed the life out of me two of us i was pressed right up against the window giving it this you know <coughs> and um i thought to myself she should be paying double uh pc is a load of bollocks scotty says james well uh, james i cannot disagree with that i mean i don't know who's brought all the pc in we obviously have to be respectful of others but we certainly shouldn't be having to watch every word that comes out of our gob just because uh you know somebody somewhere in america or the other side of the world has said oh, you can't say that you can't say that and of course you can see it because I've just said it, you know, that's that's the whole thing. Single mothers, keep your hand on your hip, mate. Will, Will Price says, Bobby Gracie, um, WikiLeaks has caused a bit of a dinky do, Scotty McClue. Oh, Bobby has it not just. Who's sending me all these hearts and kisses? <coughs> Absolutely to yourselves. This is an incredible experience. I don't know. I don't know what possessed me to do this. And you'll be sitting saying the same thing. I don't know what possessed him to do that, for goodness sake. He's never improved in the 30 years we've been watching him. And uh, this, this always used to make me laugh because, as I say, the audience figures just go up and up and up and up. And the opposition panic and they go, you yeah, think we all need to chuck this guy, you know, this is, this is getting just a wee bit on the hot side. So what? Do you know what I mean? Nobody's died. Now, uh, also, uh, you're still uh, some buzz, Scotty. Thanks for that. Dinky do. Lovely to see you. And uh, who else have we got? Jane. Hi, says Jane. Everybody seems to be joining us all the time. I haven't actually looked at my Facebook page, so let me just take a wee look to the side and see what. There's something saying we've been broadcasting for 42 seconds. Can you still see me? Are you watching your Facebook page? And can you still see me make a noise give it as a um, or something like that if you can actually see me that would be great uh tony mack i was so inspired by your interview with mr martin do you remember him oh poor mr martin we thought he was going to actually pop his clogs live on the radio and that would have been embarrassing but uh, we managed to uh, we managed to get that all sorted out but no no official didn't wear sniffing around saying what would you have done if that man had actually died um, well, it shouldn't have been on. Scotty, for president of the Scottish Slimmers, Single Mothers and Female Drivers Society. I thank you. I um, am, of course, uh, winning the battle against anorexia myself. And the doctor is very, very pleased with that. So there we are. Um, I went into the doctors the other day. He said, you're a little bit on the heavy side. He said, if you like to pop on the scales, because what I'm going to do, I'm going to take five pounds off for your clothes. I said, why is that, Doctor? He said, well, that's all they're worth, Scotty. So there you are. Uh, I see you, Scotty, says Karen Mackay. Oh, not as good as I can see you. You're going to tidy that house, by the way. There's a wee bit of stewer fleeing about there. That's marvellous. Tell ten to tell ten to tell ten to tell ten, says James Kibble. And uh, Bobby Gracie, the establishment are being rumbled tonight. They certainly are, Bobby. They certainly are. This is fantastic. Uh, you should get a part in Still Game, Scotty. That would be great. Well, I wondered, it was great that Still Game appeared just after I appeared, you know. So they obviously realised that good old Scottish boys and bunnets were, uh, were great entertainment currency. So all the best to the Still Game guys, by the way. Um, I hope that goes very, very well. So cheers to you lot. I hope to have uh, raise a glass to you and the clansmen 
or I'll maybe nip into Naveen's shop, or maybe get Isa to uh, to uh, chummy me down the road. Uh, that would be rather good. So there we are. So if any of you are watching, dinky do to the still game crowd, I say. And if you ever have a wee walk on part for Scotty McClure, I might just uh, I might just do that for you. So there you are. Um, Dad's claret cars are doing well. Thank you, Scotty. Uh, we'll need to get you down to meet him. As a Dundonian, he will be dinky do. He'll take him a pay. I'll take your feather, do not pay. And, and uh, we can hear a bit of a laugh together, eh? And uh, also, I want your bonnet, says Robbie. Robbie, that's a very, very swish bonnet. You don't get many of these to the pound. I can tell you, I got a beautiful, beautiful cashmere scarf. A gentleman I'd only met once, and he presented it to me. And it was from... Johnston's of Elgin, so there we are, um, oops, was that advertising? Johnston's of Elgin, a wonderful, wonderful old Scottish um, weaving firm um, up in Elgin there, and this gorgeous cashmere scarf. So if anybody's watching from Johnston's of Elgin, dinky do to you, and thanks very much for the scarf. That will keep old McClue very warm this winter. Also, let me tell you about the social media. Um, although I'm on Facebook, Facebook, uh, FB, Dare I, dare I, FB, dare I actually uh, say to you, I'm also on Twitter. Oh, oh, oh I've said it now, I've said it. Uh, I'm also on Twitter, so help yourself on there. I'm also on Google+. Plus. Somebody said to me, Google+, Plus, uh, your figures will not be huge on that, Scott. A quarter of a million uh, people have had a wee look there. Uh, another quarter of a million um, at uh, YouTube. Now, listen, guys, get yourselves onto YouTube. I'll post you the uh, the YouTube URL, and you'll find there's about uh, 125 uh, Scotty McClue audio videos there. I call them audio videos because they've got a picture of uh, of yours truly. Surprise, surprise, you know. It makes me laugh when people say to you, is that not kind of like a wee bit of self-publicity? Oh, we don't want that, do we? We don't want that. So there you are. Um, I'd also like to appear on network television, national television. I think something very, very big is about to happen, folks. So you may well see old McClue appearing. But the shows I'd like to appear on, I'd like to be on the Jonathan Ross show. I think that would be quite funny. Because, uh, you know, although he's, he's, he's a, a, a Londoner, um, you know, it still might be quite funny to, uh, to laugh with Jonathan Ross. So, uh, so that's that's one that I'd quite like to be on, and um, also maybe uh, maybe uh, present a show. Um, I've written a book, by the way. You'll get the first chapter, um, "Deliver Us from Evil," and it's all about uh, the army and priests and mystery and a thriller, a bit of a thriller. Uh, Father McNally. So there you are. So if you want to uh, to tune into that, Father John McNally, um, get yourself onto YouTube. And look for Scotty McClure's nighttime story. We'll be reading that and I can give you that as well. Um, Andy Pell's watching. Hi, Andy. Craig Wilson from Greenock. Hi from Greenock. Craig Wilson. Nostrum. Kelvin Malcolm McGregor. Bedtime for me, Scotty. Great to see you again. Don't be too hard on us labour folk. Many of us are big fans of yours and dinky do. No, I'm not being hard on the labour folk, again, but I just feel it's kind of old hat now. And the thing uh, about uh, about the Labour Party, they should back independence. They could turn the disaster into an absolute success story overnight by saying we're backing independence. Where's your glasses, says Robbie? Wait a minute, Robbie, you're just the man. I don't have the wee gold ones, but what do you think of these? I think these are quite swish, actually, aren't they? So the Scotty McClure spectacles. So there you are, your spectacles. Oh, hang on, I can't see a thing. There we are. Uh, but uh, I've got these. It's just because I'm only looking just a tiny bit in front of me. So that's not actually a problem. Hi from Maggie. What do you think about the taxi drivers? You will never ever see a poor taxi driver. Trust Scotty McClure on that one. We worked it out. Do you remember the taxi driver had told us that he was making... Now, what was it he was making us? Um, he said he was working 24 hours a day. That was the usual patter, usual Scottish nonsense. And uh, he said he was working 24 hours. And we worked it out. We worked out that he made uh, £350,000 a year. We bit off for his diesel and for his radio. Uh, so there you are. A loved one. You, The guy from... Oh, I loved the way 
you did the guy from Law Village on YouTube. That was funny, says Denise Carroll. Denise, darling, there's stacks of that. SNP all the way, says Margaret. Well, as I say, I'm not a political animal, so I'm not particularly any party. Uh, there you are. Uh, who else have we got? Um, do you like cloth dumpling Scotties? Scott J. Lo, I think you mean a clouty dumpling. There you are, boiled up in an old clout. And uh, that's always good. We'd love to see you get torn into the sorry excuses for politicians. Scotland's lumbered with today. Well, I put a wee um, Twitter poll out yesterday. Should I, um, should I stand as a politician? Would I make, uh, would I make a good, uh, a good leader, deputy leader? Would I make a backbencher? That sort of stuff. That my only worry about politics is a lot of people go into politics with wonderful ideas that they're going to sort the world out and the first thing they get told to do is shut their gob. The leader gets hold of them, the whips get a hold of them, they say, no, not a word from you, okay? You'll get to ask a question and then that's your whack. So sit at the back, shut up and don't say anything other than somebody shut the window please. Well, that sort of thing. Your stamp it foo on here, Scotty. We are absolutely stamp it foo. Well, Price, do you always wear a bonnet in the house? Usually, I. It's a wee bit kind of, wee bit chilly in here. A wee bit parky, you know, a wee bit parky. And uh, do you remember parky? Uh, do you remember parking? Now, I've worked in Yorkshire a lot in my life, and they loved the parking. You know, a bit of parking, Scotty. I was. And uh, say Curly Whirly in your brilliant accent, Scotty, Curly Whirly. Um, advertising again, I think lorry drivers work harder than taxi drivers and earn a lot less, says Tony. My dad is a lorry driver. I'd like to see the lorries off the road all together, of course. I think that would be quite good, get the lorries off the road, get it onto the canals, the canoe canal, but yes. Nippy, says Ian. Uh, Gorty, marvellous nippy, are <laughs> Phineas, are in. And uh, is that you in the picture behind you? Um, yes, it is. Yes, it is. I think it is me in the picture behind Is that right? I'll just check. Um, yes, yes, that's me. And in fact, if we turn over a bit. We'll see if we can get, there's another one for you, yes, yes, oh yes, it's all there, all the luxuries here, you know, not a problem. Uh, what else are we getting? I did karaoke with you when you were on the radio, and uh, leave it to Claybank to sing a song. I will have you know I am a black belt in karaoke. So there you are, that's one of my martial arts, one of my five a day. Greetings from Vancouver in Canada, says Richard Burnett from Canada. Richard, it's great to have you, and uh, thanks very much for tuning in to uh, the Scotty McClue Show. Uh, how fantastic. So, now, the only thing is, do we make this a regular thing from time to time, folks? I'm going to push off and let you get on, because you'll have had enough of me. But um, do we make this a regular thing? Is this something that you would like to see? Hi, Scotty, I remember you and Burry. You said you wouldn't like to give me a broken wage packet. <laughs> I would not, Sally. Sally Baboot there. Charlie Andrews, you must be loaded, Scotty, with all these gold picture frames in the background. So there we are. No, no. All is not what it seems. A wee touch of the, the gold paint out the modelling shop. Um, Donna McGinn, yes, you're cooler than Arthur Fons Arelli. Uh, thank you very much, Matthew Ritchie. Charlie Andrews, yes, yes to watch. Charlie, can somebody write, yes, I can hear you. Paula Colville, or I can see you, I can see you. Gosh, you know, I'm not used to the video aspect of it, guys. That's what's throwing me a wee bit. Um, it should be a weekly thing. I'd be a regular watcher, says Richard Burnett. Regular, please, Scotty. Indeed we do, definitely do it again, Scotty. Facebook Live on a Sunday night sounds good, says Ian. Yes, regular show, Scotty. When you're next on, Scotty, you're a fud. That's not very nice, Chris, for goodness sake. I could, I could say a few things about you. I'll, I'll, I'll say that word backwards, and I'll say that you're duff. So there you go. And um, what else have we got? I love presenting on Celtic Music, says Tony Mac. Uh, Tony Mac, uh, what's your favourite Scottish band? Oh, wow. 
Lots of them, uh, Duncan McCrone's band, absolutely tremendous, of course the Proclaimers, um, and all the Celtic bands. Um, Keeper Cayley, love Keeper Cayley, tremendous. Scottish Fiddle Orchestra, my father used to play with them, Scottish Fiddle Orchestra, and uh, love their stuff as well. Yes, more of these videos. Uh, single Brothers, keep your hand on your hate me. Friday or Saturday, catch all the drunken roosters, says Michael Campbell. And what's with the heavy jersey? Put the heating on. Not yet. The heating goes on on the 29th of November. That's when the heating goes on. And uh, because I'll tell you, um, you know, the wife was just looking through the window one day at the very, very heavy snow. Very heavy snow. And all she could do was stare through the window. And I thought, if it gets any heavier, we'll have to let her in. So that was that. Uh, get stuck into the single mums and the soup. Listen to all the time, Scotty, when you were on the radio, says Margaret Bonner. Of course, guys, we've been on the radio for 25 years. I actually didn't finish radio till uh, last November. Um, so there you are, but different, uh, different stations all throughout the, the, the UK. Definitely more live on Facebook, on the radio. Jimmy Shander, James Galway, says Will Price. Absolutely, Jimmy Shand, the master, of course. Eat your porridge, the heating's too early. And Kieran Fox is watching. Tremendous, Kieran. Lovely, lovely to hear you. Now, I don't know if I'm broadcasting just on one page. I have another Scotty McClue Facebook page. So I'm not sure which one we're actually broadcasting on. Any plans for radio in the future, says Christopher Anthony Smith. Yes, Chris, there's a lot of very big plans because obviously the radio is better for you guys because you don't have to look at my fissog. So there we are. And uh, David Gray Duggan, Haggis or the Loch Ness Monster, he says. Haggis or the Loch Ness Monster. Right. I think we'd better push off there before all the batteries run out. It's been absolutely fabulous to be with you. Can somebody just let me know, are you watching live right now? Martin says, can we have a dinky-doo? Of course you can have a dinky-doo. And uh, yes, definitely, says Margaret. So you're definitely watching now, Margaret. That is great. I'll push off. It's been lovely, lovely to be with you. Thanks very much, nation. And uh, as we say in all the very best of circles, good night, God bless, dinky do, and tara lads. And for all our Gaelic listeners, of course, I hiva, I hiva, like, maha.